Ross, that's now five wins in eight under you and a brilliant performance out there tonight, don't you think? Yeah, I thought we were. I thought we were good all game. To be fair, like we've we've worked on um, and we've talked a lot about uh, being in games um, and it's important to stay in games. Um, I know we spoke about like we're, we're very much a second half side, but that's fine if 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 you're in the game and and you can uh, still be able to compete within the game and get a result. Like uh, being a second half side isn't a problem. Uh, so we did we did go for the gears quite well in the second half. I thought and I thought probably. We could have got another couple more. Um, we restricted them to very, very little, other than sort of maybe a couple of scrambles. But like in the, maybe the back post, the back post header in the first half, I thought we restricted them really well. And yeah, to to win and to get a clean sheet on the road and come to where somewhere where it is, I think it's a tough place to come. Like a lot of travel and they're not, a, they're, they're, they're a good team. They play some good football. Like I thought the last five, ten minutes of the first half, they were really hard to get hold of, um, and they were get picking up some nice little pockets. Um, but yeah, we got the job done. I thought I thought the boys were excellent. Like uh, to a man from from the start eleven to the subs, I thought they were absolutely brilliant. You said as before the game as well that you know you thought they were a good side. They did show that in glimpses today. But we saw from very early on that the, that the lads were really in their faces, really pressing them high up and, and not allowing them to play. Was that all part of the game plan? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, we are a pressing team, um, and I think you can we can press from different moments in the pitch. It's not always have to be high. And I don't think the press was quite right in the first half. To be honest, that was one of the big things we talked about. Um, we moved between two presses, which I think maybe over confused things a little bit or over complicated things a little bit. Um, simplified it at half time um, and I know we didn't score from the press but but it, it certainly restricts them that it's a, a good football inside um, and what we have to be better at is when we do win it uh, we have to be a little bit smarter in keeping it so we're not running around us as, as much um, but that takes time that will take time and, and they're good enough to to adapt and to get to that 100% like there's a um, there's a good squad there, yeah. And they were two really nice goals, weren't they? You know, Glover's part, really calm finish there after a brilliant ball from Parts. And, and a, a, well, we're, we're kind of used to Justin scoring goals like that this season, aren't we? Yeah, he's a, I mean, he's a good player, isn't he? So, like, I, I didn't know whether... It, because the keeper's flat-footed, isn't he? I didn't know whether, whether it took a deflection or, or, or whatnot. So, yeah, cracking goal. I thought the disguise on Parts has passed for that, for, for, that, for, that, for, that, for that Ryan goal. And what a finish from Ryan as well. So, he deserves that. He, he, he's... he's, he's always wants to get in amongst the goals or deserves to get in amongst the goals so I'm chuffed to bits for him as well really but like I said to a man that like they're, they're such a good group and, and when they're positive when they're encouraging and, and when they speak to each other in the right way uh, they're miles miles better for it um, uh, they're a competitive bunch and they're a young bunch and, and, and that comes with a bit of the territory of like some of the mis not mistakes we make but some of the bit of like um, what's the word I say I'm not friction but like well we're coming together as a team and, and, and it's important that, that when we're coming together we, we know what that looks like and, and we sort of stick together as well. A clean sheet kind of embodies that doesn't it you know the defensive team spirit there again another and that's two clean sheets in a row as well so that like, more positives there as well. Yeah it's amazing like, um, like uh, you're funny we stand there don't we and you're like five for me four clean sheets and it's just like it's because probably uh, because we have an interim, you sort of counting them down, and I'm like, I said to him, I said to James, I was like, when are we going to stop going five from yeah. it, like four clean sheets? But like clean sheets, I, w I was a defender. I, I love clean sheets. I'm, I'm, I believe that you keep clean sheets by defending higher up the pitch and being more proactive and and trying to um, defend in the right parts and the right areas of the pitch. So. We've reaped the rewards for it. It helps, though, by the way, having Corey, having Tyler, having Ollie, having Archie, who can win lots of first contact and, and really put, put, put the team the other way. I mean, I'm not including in Giles and that as well. And Giles, is, it, it, not, not to forget, has been excellent in sort of like the games before this as well. And, you know, though we, you say about those records, but it, it has been great and it does seem like the players really have reacted well to you and James coming in. Yeah, I think so. Well, I hope so. Um, I mean, the results have been positive. So if you're going to look at how how we are with the players, and and um, it's a results to results business, sadly, and and uh, sadly, or oh, it is a results business. But that's what we get judged on. And if you're going to judge judge our relationship with the players on on something, that's one thing definitely to judge us on, I guess. But I think the players are excellent. I think the staff have been excellent. I think the fans have been very, very. Um, 
very very kind and very very understanding and with us coming in and very very patient as well so i think like i was saying to rob like um it's not easy everyone's sort of on tenter hooks trying to think what's next and how does that look and and that does have a little bit of anxiety amongst people but i've been pretty chill um and i, I think everyone around me um has has been really positive and um, i think it must be difficult for the players at times not knowing what it's going to look like in the future but um by god don't they half sure that they they, they they like me and james or they want me and james to be here long term and i couldn't i couldn't ask for much more really and finally you mentioned the fans there we've got to say how brilliant the turnout was there 113 of them and I mean, you were sat quite far away from them, but I was sat further in the press box and you could still hear them over the Gateshead fans here today. So it was a fantastic effort by them, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm chuffed to bits for them, to be fair. Like, I think um, the, there was 100 nod. 113 oh, 113 113 so that's amazing like to come all that way like i know the journey it's not easy yeah. like we obviously did the journey yesterday so um i think like i said to i was saying to rob rob earlier like we we have a white board and we put stuff on it i wrote fans on it and i think it's important that we embody that like like we don't want to have people coming up here traveling five six hours and giving time out the day and not putting on a performance and, and i think we absolutely did that today to a man and i thought our work rate our energy our, how our intensity was excellent from the off Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.